Greetings and welcome on this new Popcorn FX video tutorial. This video is about particle effect attribute feature. With this very useful feature, we can change dynamically each property directly in the game engine. The first attribute we will create is a global scale. It allows us to scale our effects to fit the overall scale of the scene. First of all, click on the create button. With a double click, we can rename this attribute. We will name it global scale. Three action buttons are available per attribute. The floppy disk saves the attribute's current value as default value. The gear button reveals the attribute's property, where we can change the attribute's type. Add a description, change the default value, and even add a minimum and a maximum value. For the global scale attribute, we just want to set a minimum value to zero to avoid a negative scale. And here, we can set the minimum and the maximum value. If min or max value are not enabled, this will just affect the range of the slider in Popcorn. Now that our global scale is ready for use, we can apply it in the script. We will multiply the size and the velocity with our global scale. After playing around with the global scale attribute, we can see the sparks are not really affected by the gravity when we increase the global scale. It's because the gravity is set inside the physics evolver, and it's not affected by the global scale attribute. For a coherent behavior, we'll add an Axel field, which will allow us to tweak the constant acceleration directly by scripting. Now we transfer this constant acceleration value into the Axel field and multiply this field by our global scale attribute. Now our global scale is correctly set, we can make some more customization. We will add an attribute that will change the color. We will name it spark color and make it a float free attribute. A float free because we want to affect the color and let the alpha untouched. In the Evolver script, we will replace our float free with a spark color. Thanks to the attribute, we can now change dynamically the color of the effects. One of the most handy ways to control the spawn rate of an FX is to control it through attributes. In the layer properties, we have a flux factor expression field. This field allows us to change the spawn rate directly with an attribute. Just a float with no maximum value. We just have to type the name of the attribute in the flux factor expression field. We can now control the spawn rate of our FX. After a few modifications, we add a spark intensity. And saturate the spark flux to influence the velocity when you have a few particles, making the effects spread coherent with the particle count. These are just a few examples of how you can use attribute to make more dynamic and customizable effects. Hope you enjoyed this tutorials and thanks for watching.